Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Kai, and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition tutorial. This farm works on all versions of Minecraft Bedrock Edition from 1.20 onwards, as it uses a change to Hopper Dynamics. For this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to build these two five pod modules. However, this is infinitely expandable as it doesn't use Hopper minecarts. And yeah, let's get started. For your convenience, a full materials list is available in the description box below. I've got this broken down into the two pods, obviously the top one for your bamboo, the second one for your sugarcane. Building blocks could be any block of your choice, and the stairs are, again, any block of your choice. So to get started, break two blocks into the ground like so, and place yourself down a chest facing this direction. In the back, break this block here, and two either side. So you've got this basically this kind of T-shape. Take your first hopper, crouch and press this into the chest, ensuring that the, the snout of the hopper is filtering into this chest. Then crouch and place two hoppers going into, the, into that hopper, and two hoppers going into that hopper. From there, take your mud blocks, and place them on top of each of those hoppers. Take your building block of choice, this could be any block you like, and just filter this round, ensuring you don't go over the chest. And if you like, at this point, you can place yourself a stair there, just so that you're able to open the chest. So from here, because this first module is for the bamboo, you can place a solid block behind here, a light block of your choice, and a couple of additional wall blocks to this side here. So from here, take your pistons and place them on top of these blocks here. And you can take your building blocks and build yourself up another layer here. From here, go around the back of your build. This is easier if you build it in walls and stuff, you don't really need to do this. However, place your saw block on the back of each of those pistons. This will be for your redstone. From here, take your observers and face, uh, make sure they're all facing towards this direction. Now grab your redstone and place it on top of this line here. This will ensure that the pistons fire when the observers see movement. You can test this if you like, just by placing a single block there. And you can see that that fires the pistons. From here, you can build this up if you like to be square or however you like. Just like that. And again, from the top, you can place it. Make sure you're not obviously placing, don't break the redstone. You can build this one right across like this. And that is basically the walls of your first pod in play. So from this position here, if you grab yourself your bamboo and place it on each of these five blocks here, Grab your glass and just enclose the front of this pod. Now that is basically pod number one done. Now that you have your first pod in play, go to the front of the chest and you're going to count your left or right, depending on how you're building the second pod, and you're going to go out by five blocks. So in this case, one, two, three, four, five. Break it the sixth and the block behind it. Take your double chest. And place it in the ground. Once again, break out these three and those two. Hop around to the back of this chest and two hoppers into the side. Now you've got to take your mud blocks and place them on top of each of those hoppers. Grab your solid block, two blocks in front, making sure you're not covering over the chest. Three blocks on this side three blocks behind and then connect with the other pod. Grab your water bucket and place it on this central block here which will ensure you can place your cane on this area. Grab your solid block and you're just going to build yourself up this wall up an additional level and you can build it round as well. Now take your glowstone and place it on this line here. From there grab your pistons. Five pistons on top of the glowstone as you did on the first pod. Go down the back and place your observers facing out the way. 
while you're here, place yourself a line of solid blocks along the back and place your redstone dust along the back here as well. Once again, because we're already here, grab a solid block and just cover this over all the way along. All across the roof. Now take your sugarcane and place your sugarcane in this section here. Take your glass and cover it over. And that is your second pod in clay. As you've seen, the sugarcane will be broken and the bamboo will be broken as soon as they reach the observer level. We'll break and we'll get put into these chests. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to build this system. It is infinitely tellable. You can have 10 bamboo, 10 sugarcane, 100 sugarcane, 100 bamboo, all you like. You can just extend it either side. You can have the hopper going to a single chest. There's lots you can do to it. If you have got any comments or concerns, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below and I'll address them as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and check out my other playlists. More tutorials also coming soon. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.